Hello viewers, welcome to Elimu TV, whereby we are going to learn and experience together. We are going to have our biology form 2, lesson 14, whereby your tutor will be Mr. Gerard. We are going to unload the topic on uh, transport in uh, animals under the subtopic structure and the functions of blood. Um, we are first going to have the following lesson goal, whereby by the end of the lesson, you should be able to identify the structure and functions of different blood components. So first we are going to have the composition of the blood. Whereby we can say the mammalian blood consists of a fluid called plasma with cells suspended in it. They are, remember the blood plasma, it consists of the red blood cells, which we can call them the erythrocytes. We also have uh, the white blood cells, which we can call them the leukocytes or uh, we have uh, the platelets, which are normally known as uh, thrombocytes. So now we are going to have the first, our first blood uh, composition, which is the plasma. Then for the plasma, this is a blood, the blood plasma is a pale yellow fluid consisting of uh, water, which is at least 90%. So it is a yellow fluid, as you can see from our uh, diagram. It consists of 90% uh, of it is made up of water in which a variety of substances are suspended and other dissolved, uh, others dissolved. Substances in plasma uh, include glucose, amino acids, hormones, some enzymes, vitamins, lipids, and waste products of metabolism, such as uh, carbon dioxide and urea. Also contained in the plasma are plasma proteins, such as antibodies, albumin, fibrinogen, Blood plasma from which fibrinogen and cells have been removed is called serum. The main functions of blood plasma are 1. We have it is um, the transports blood cells which contain oxyhemoglobin to the tissues and it is facilitates transport of oxygen. The second function of plasma is that it forms the main medium in which dissolved food substances are transported to the liver and then to other body tissues. That function is that it transports metabolic waste such as urea, carbon dioxide, and other nitrogenous waste from sites of production to the excretory organs where they are eliminated from the body. The fourth function is that it transports uh, hormones from endocrine glands to target organs. The fifth function of the plasma is that um, is uh, oxygen and carbon dioxide are slightly soluble in water. Hence, the Plasma transports small amount of these gases. The sixth function is that it is used for regulate uh, pH in uh, the body fluids. And our last but not the least is that it is used to distribute it around the body. Hence it is important in regulation of temperature. We are going now to have our second uh, blood composition whereby we have said the are the red blood cells. And in other than them we have said the biological norm of the red blood cells. We have said they are the erythrocytes. The red blood cells are the blood cells that contain a red uh, respiratory uh, pigment, as you can see from our uh, diagrammatic representation, that um, in their cytoplasm ends the name. The cells are small in size and circular in shape. The red blood cells are many in um, the red blood cells. They are many in plasma. They are about five million cells per cubic millimeter of uh, the blood. Their large number suits them to their function of transporting oxygen and carbon dioxide. In an handout, the red blood cells are made in the bone marrow of the short bones, such as the sternum, the ribs, and also the vertebra. In the embryo, they are made in the liver and the spleen. Mature red blood cells have no nucleus but have a sunken center that makes the cells resemble a biconcave disc, um, as you can see from our diagram. The absence of the nucleus creates room for more hemoglobin to be packed in the cell to enable it to carry more oxygen. They also lack most of the organelles, and uh, this uh, property uh, uh, increases room for packaging of more hemoglobin. Uh, they contain hemoglobin, which is a protein uh, with ion. Hemoglobin has a high affinity for oxygen and readily combines with oxygen to form an unstable compound known as oxyhemoglobin. They also contain an enzyme carbonic anhydrase that uh, enhances transportation of carbon dioxide. The biconcave shape of these red blood cells um, increases the surface area for diffusion of the respiratory gases. 
The biconcave shape also makes them flexible to squeeze through the narrow lumen of the capillaries. Um, they have a lifespan of about four months, that is three to four months, after which they break down and disintegrate in the liver and the spleen. The ion released from the breakdown of the old red blood cells is used in the manufacture of new, um, new cells. Having done and said that, uh, we are going to have the following activity whereby you are required um, to give functions of the red blood cells and to give adaptations to its function. We are going to have, um, for more uh, of this lesson, you can refer to KLB, Secondary Biology Students Book 1, which is the fourth edition of uh, Kenya Literature Bureau. To get this lesson and many more, you can uh, conduct us by sending us an SMS to the number that is appearing on our screen, or you subscribe to our YouTube channel or our Facebook page, which are both Elimu TV, or uh, you tweet us at Elimu TV underscore Kenya. Thank you for watching and let us stay tuned to get more of these lessons.